The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is slated for release in less than three weeks, and with its impending arrival, a wealth of new information has surfaced. Recent leaks provide insights into the phone's appearance and performance. Firstly, Mi Smart Price uncovered a Geekbench listing for an unlocked US version of the Z Fold 6. It reveals key specifications such as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, Android 14 operating system, and 12 gigabytes of RAM. These specifications align with earlier benchmarks for the Galaxy Z Fold 6, but what stands out are the improved scores in this latest listing. The Z Fold 6 achieved a single-core score of 2,257 and a multi-core score of 6,903. This represents a significant improvement over previous tests which recorded 1,964 for single-core and 6,619 for multi-core, indicating enhanced optimization nearing release or typical benchmark variability. For comparison, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 averages a single-core score of 1,940 and a multi-core score of 5,119 on Geekbench. Thus, the Z Fold 6 is expected to deliver substantial performance gains. Interestingly, the latest scores of the Z Fold 6 even surpass the average scores of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra which recorded 2,160 for single-core and 6,746 for multi-core. Beyond benchmarks, these developments suggest that the Z Fold 6 is shaping up to be a powerhouse in terms of performance. Are you excited about these advancements? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. They give us a better look at Samsung's foldable phones and show the crease on the inside screen more clearly. We've already seen prototype Galaxy Z Fold 6 previous leaks showing almost every angle. These images reveal a whole device, highlighting the new boxier design and changes to the camera setup. 9 to 5 googled that more photos of the Galaxy Fold 6 and Flip 6 prototypes from Sonny Dixon. The pictures show both the outside and inside screens of each device, and it seems like the 6th generation still has a noticeable crease on the display. The phones in the photos are prototypes, meaning they might change a lot before the final version. These pictures likely show a bigger crease on the screen than the final version will have. Samsung might have used an older display just to show the shape and size of the phones. People are still hoping that the crease will be less noticeable when the Galaxy Z Fold and Galaxy Z Flip are fully open. The pictures also reveal a black prototype version where Samsung is roughly stamped on the hinges of both devices. Samsung might decide to use stamped logos instead of the engraved ones seen on previous fold and flip models. As shown in these images, many prefer the engraved logo because it adds a touch of quality to these expensive $2,000 devices. There's a small detail that might be noticeable on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. The hinge protection plate seems to stick out a bit at the top and bottom. It's tricky to see clearly because of the lighting in the photos. It appears that the hinge is slightly farther from the main phone panels at the ends compared to the middle where the Samsung logo is located. Apart from a few small details, Samsung's design updates are noticeable in these prototype units. The phones seem to have thinner borders around the inside screen, and the overall size and appearance are slightly improved compared to last year's model. Honestly, the design shown here for Samsung's foldable devices aren't surprising. It seems like Samsung isn't planning to make big changes to this line. This makes the design seem a bit boring, but it also means they're easy to recognize because Samsung has been using the same design style for a few years now. It's important to keep in mind that the leaked pictures show early models or mock-ups of the devices. These are likely to go through many changes before the final versions are made, so what we see in these images might look quite different from what's actually released. Besides having wider displays, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 will sport sharper corners for a more angular appearance. It might also be about 15 grams lighter and include a titanium frame. If you were hoping for a significantly larger front screen on the Galaxy Z Fold 6, recent evidence from a case maker might disappoint you. Casemaker Thinborn shared a photo on Twitter featuring a case intended for the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 6 indicated by the accompanying hashtag. The photo suggests that Samsung isn't increasing the size of the cover screen by much. While the cover display will have a slightly wider aspect ratio, the actual screen size remains almost unchanged. Similarly, the 7.6-inch foldable display will maintain its size but with a different aspect ratio, 
making it shorter and wider. There are rumors circulating that Samsung will officially unveil the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6 at an event called Unpacked on July 10. These smartphones have already received approval from several regulatory authorities. Recently, both the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6 were listed on China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology MIT, database. According to reports from SmartPrix, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6 have appeared in the MIT certification database with model numbers and SSM F7410 respectively. The listings indicate first there's talk about an entry-level version, then an ultra model, followed by a slim version, and now rumors that it might be delayed until next year. Now, the mysterious second variant of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 we keep hearing about might actually be coming soon. According to Ice Universe on Twitter, this new foldable phone not only exists, but will also have a bigger screen, slimmer design, and be lighter in weight. Ice Universe suggests that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim will be named Samsung W25 in China, which is lighter, thinner, and larger than the Fold 6. It's set to be released in October and won't support the S Pen. A user on Twitter speculated last month that Samsung might shelve its more affordable foldable phone because they couldn't make it thin enough to compete with China's foldables without compromising on durability. Analyst Ross Young suggested that a slimmer Z Fold 6 without the stylus digitizer might be released instead of the rumored Z Fold 6 Ultra. All this talk corroborates earlier rumors from January about a potentially cheaper tablet-style foldable being added to Samsung's lineup this year. To achieve a thinner profile, Samsung opted to remove the stylus digitizer, a strategic move aimed at competing in China's tough market. Instead, the new model will feature a larger screen and better durability to address common issues seen in China's foldable phones. Industry insider Ra Xinon mentioned that these larger screens won't start production until late this year, suggesting that we might not see this new, more versatile but stylus-free foldable for another nine months. In an exclusive leak, we now have all the specs for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Let's take a closer look, all credit goes to smart pricks. We won't go fully deep into the specs, but we'll highlight the main points. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 series uses the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 Galaxy processor for fast performance with apps, games, and new Galaxy Eye features. The Fold 6 will offer 12GB of LPDDR5 XRAM and storage options of 256GB, 512GB, and 1TB. Regarding the camera sit-up, Samsung will once again feature a triple camera setup on its book-style folding phone. The setup includes a 50-megapixel wide-angle camera with an f1.8 aperture, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera with an f2.2 aperture, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens with an f2.4 aperture offering 3x optical zoom and up to 30x digital zoom. These cameras support autofocus and OIS. For selfies, there is a 10-megapixel front-facing camera with an f2.2 aperture and an under-display camera with a 4-megapixel sensor and an f1.8 aperture. The Fold 6 supports 4K 120 frames per second slow motion video recording. What are your thoughts on these revelations about the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra? Share your opinions in the comments section below.